guys in this pandemic mode of covid-19 i just want you to be safe and stay at your home i know things are really getting worse but all you can do is just stay at your home it will eradicate the virus to spread more and just be safe and just take care of your parents hey guys it's ashish from ashish creations and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing extremely well well guys today in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a bokeh photo manipulation in photoshop with kind of you know cool and creative color tone effects like branded wolf so just watch full video and i hope you will learn the photo editing just like this and just tag me in your instagram so that i can see your photo and creativity so before any further ado let's get straight into the video till then guys be creative and be safe at your home so guys this is the photo which we are going to edit like creative bokeh for the manipulation so very first thing we're going to do is just to select the photo or the model's photo with the help of quick selection tool guys this will actually take a lot of time to you know select the whole subject in a proper way so you can just use pen tool to select the precisely now press the layer by copy to select the models or press control j from the keyboard to to make a duplication of the layer now here we are going to crop the photo and increase the size of the canvas so that we can just play with the object or the subject and we can just see whatever the size is more suitable for the photo that we can just figure it out so we are going to increase the canvas just like this way now here just go to the file open and we can just add the background to the photo so let's just add this background so you can just download this background all the links are down here in the description now just go to the edit select the free transform or directly press control t from the keyboard and just increase the size of that background you have to place that background in such a way that it should look more realistic and it should look kind of you know it should match with the subject that is a very very important and a key factor of this photo editing now here we are going to go to the color lookup from the adjustment list layer and select the cena biblical avg 2020 right this is the lot file So you can just download this lot that is a top 10 cinematic lots which I have created so you can just download it for free. Now press control L from the keyboard and just make uh, on the background and just enhance the black details. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is just to add a layer mask on the background layer. Select the brush tool and select the black color on the foreground. Make sure you have selected the black color. increase the size of the brush and select the soft round brush and just mine you just delete the you know that uh, area or the road in such a way that it should look kind of realistic so you can see it is getting merged with the background here something was remaining so let me just delete it let me select the magic wand and select this and press d from the con uh, delete button from the keyboard right now here the next thing we are going to do is to see more adjustment we going to just blur the whole edges of the model so that it may merge with the background right so it is very important to merge the photo layer or the cut out image layer with the background so we are going to just blur the edges of the models just like this way So here we have almost completed our process of you know uh, doing the blur on the edges. So let's just make a duplicate of the layer and let's enhance the photo. Increase the blackness. Just move the slider from left to right so you can see. Now let's add the background there so just select this you know that circle bean just download this from the links in the description just drag it and drop over here just place it on top of all the layers press control t from the keyboard and enlarge it this you can place by yourself guys so this is totally up to you how you want to place this you can just place it 
so just cool the filter select the gaussian blur and just make the gaussian blur to around 30 percent or kind of 60 percent pixels would be pretty perfect now again make a duplicate of the background layer flip it horizontal way and i'm gonna just fill it with this layer also background also the models layer all right so you can see over here now again press ctrl j two times press ctrl d and just flip it horizontal way so i'm gonna just place this somewhere over here just like this way so that it may, it may look a continuous you know image and we would be able to easily crop the photo at last now again let's just create new layer select the brush tool and select the black color and we're gonna just paint it with the black color and make the sure you have selected the soft round brush and just give one stroke of the black color just on the you know ground just like this way because we are, we are creating the black shadows or black case effects somewhere over here because so that we can you know place their fairy lights and we will be able to easily add this fairy lights effects should be seen properly so we are going to add this blackish effect somewhere over here now finally we are going to crop the photo of for our instagram that is 8 is 4 is to 5 or 8 is to 10 ratio right so you can just do it by yourself whatever the you know position or whatever the angle is more suitable for you you can just do it by yourself and which is making a better picture perfect photo right so you can just play with the crop tool and just hit ok whenever you feel like ok you can just make an perfect adjustment or the cropping of the photo and now just go to the fifth open and let's just open this fairy lights and i'm gonna just place this fairy light somewhere on my hand region because my pose is in such a way all right so we, i'm gonna just place this over here change the blending mode to screen and just flip, flip it horizontal way so just right click on it and just play or play with the fairy lights in such a way that whatever is you know more looking suitable for your photo just place that in such a way so i'm gonna just make one more duplicate of this layer so you have to make sure that it should come exactly from the you know hand now i'm gonna just press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication and it will just enhance the details of the fairy lights now i'm gonna add one more background that is this fairy dust particles fairy lights particles right so just i'm gonna just place this somewhere over here change the blending mode to screen press ctrl t from the keyboard just reduce the size of this canvas or the fairy dust particles somewhere over here and we're gonna just place this on the top on the bottom of the ground because we have created that blackish effect this is this is a you know important thing this is here is the thing guys we have created the you know blackish effect because we want to add these lights over here if, if it is what there was no black effect over there then your that fairy lights would not be seen properly so we have added that effect over there <coughs> now select the brush create a new layer select the brush tool and make a white stroke over here and just make a harsh kind of you know sunlight it should look kind of you know it is coming from one side of the photo that make in such a way so that it will create a dramatic effect to the photo which is making will a photo a more amazing all right so just keep in one side of the photo that the light effect that should be of the white color now you can see the difference guys this by adding a light to the photo it is making a photo more dramatic and kind of cinematic effect it is giving to the photo which is very cool right so the next thing we are going to do is just merge adding uh, one more layers that is a cow tone add a one point over here and just add one point and just move it from the bottom to top portion 
just like this way to get the matte effect to the photo right because we want a kind of moody matte tone in the photo so we are going to add this curve on over here so the key point of you know making a matte effect is just moving the slider from bottom to top this is pretty po a kind of easy thing so you can see the difference here's the before and here's the after this is only affected on the blackish region mostly so guys now we're gonna just merge all the layers the rest of the things we have completed so just right click on it and select merge layers gonna just make a duplicate first of all and here change the blending mode to screen and we are going to do a dodging and burning process so just do it as shown in the video just move the if you haven't watched the video of how to dodge and burn skin i will just put that video link in the description or you can just search on my youtube playlist that how do you know dodge and burn like tony mafool i already made a video this will you know bring back the details of the face and just it will make a professional retouching to the face and it will exactly like do kind of you know effect the tony mafool uses in his photo all right so you can just use this effect and to use this technique to use how to you know to implement to your photo and just make it kind of you know dodge and burn effect with cool similar effect of the skin just like the anime food and just hit ok alright I have explained to you in details how to do this process of dodging and burning so you can just follow that video and just see how to properly do this and step by step So you can see the difference, a huge difference can be seen in the photo by adding this dodging and burning effect. So I'm gonna just erase it from the rest of the area where I don't want. So with the help of brush tool and, and erasing on the layer mask, I'm just delete it from there. So select the brush tool and make sure you have selected the black color on the top and just erase it on the area where you don't want this effect. So you can just use it and just delete it. All right this is totally up to you where you don't want this effect you can just delete it i just want it on my face and on my clothes only so i'm gonna just keep it over there and you can also reduce the opacity of this layer or you can just decrease the opacity of the brush and just erase it from the face just like this way so that you do so that you know you get only less effect where you want Here again I'm gonna just increase the opacity of the brush and just erase the area where you don't want the effect. So you can see the difference right here it is really enhancing the photo and making it look more amazing. So guys finally we have done our process of editing so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos and creative photo manipulations just like this for you guys for free and you can just download the preset you know from all free from my website that is www.ashfieldcreations.com on that website you're gonna find you know, dng preset camera preset mobile lightroom preset PC Lightroom preset and many more laws and cool stuff just for free so do follow that website and also follow my second website that is filterpreset.com and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on instagram just type ashfield creations so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome